Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Tony Lawrence, on how we can deal with pixelated edges on a transparent image that we save out of Photoshop. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have a file from the Creating Billboard Artwork in Photoshop course. Now what is perhaps the easiest solution to dealing with with transparency is to simply avoid using it. Uh, so to do that we could easily create a background in Photoshop and uh, simply save off our image without transparency. So um, say if the we had a gradient on our website that matched this and we put our car on top of it nobody would know that uh, this image doesn't necessarily have transparency. But let's say that we would like to save off an image with transparency because there will certainly be times when we'll have to do that when we're creating a website. So I'm just going to uh, turn off my background visibility, go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Now when I come in here, um, we can see that we have our original image on the left hand side and our uh, image is going to be saved off on the right hand side. Now if you don't see this, uh, you can notice these tabs up here at the top we can adjust our view to customize it however we, we may want. I usually prefer working in the two up mode that way I can see the original as well as what's going to be saved off. Now, Right now it's set to a JPEG which does not support transparency so we'll come in and switch this to something like a GIF file. Now as we can see there's an issue with the shadow. In the original file the shadow looks nice, it's fading off into transparency, but that's not the case in our GIF file. So we're going to zoom in a little bit just so we can really see that. We also notice that we're getting a little white edge around here. And what that is, is that's actually the matte. So while Photoshop supports uh, partial transparency, notice where the shadow here is going from being completely opaque fading off into being completely transparent. A GIF file either has to be opaque or transparent. There is no partial transparency that's supported. So a workaround for that is to use a matte. Now you can adjust the matte color here. So if I were to change this from white to being maybe something like a blue, we can really see how our matte is added to our image. And the reason for it being added all along the top here is that in our actual image we have some pixels that are being partially transparent due to anti-aliasing. So if we wanted to use a uh, GIF file, uh, we'd probably want to adjust the matte to be something that would blend in better with our website background. So for example, if we knew that our background is going to be white, and we used a white matte, you wouldn't notice that nearly as much. I'm going to switch this back to blue real quick just so we can see a little bit easier. Because there are a couple different options we could use uh, for the dithering. And as you notice, it's going to adjust the way that the matte is handled. But really, when it comes down to it, uh, the GIF file, since it only doesn't or it does not support partial transparency, um, we may find that uh, none of these are going to work for us. So there is a solution that we can use on the web that does support partial transparency and that is to actually use a PNG file. So if I switch this from a GIF to a PNG 24 let me give it a second to update, there we go. As we can see the PNG does support partial transparency. So if I come to zoom, let's zoom out a little bit, hold down alt to zoom out we can see that the resulting file is going to support the nice smooth transition from completely opaque pixels to completely transparent pixels. But there is a catch to using PNGs and that is that they are newer and so they aren't fully supported on some older web browsers. So if you're going to use the PNG format you really want to make sure that you double check and run a test in all the browsers that we want our website to work with just to make sure that our images are being displayed properly. So depending on what our project requires the technique that we use could vary. But those are just a couple quick ways that we can help to deal with a pixelated edge from a transparent image that we save off for use on the web.